Hey y'all, so we're back. We're doing another bougie on a budget video. So y'all know me, I don't buy a real Bottega cause I just don't. So I found a dupe, so if I find a dupe, I'm gonna buy it. So, you know why you're here. So I found the Bottega sandals. Um, these usually retail for $960. And your girl found them for 25. So, um, I think I was on Pinterest and I had the shoes saved into my wish list. So Pinterest usually does similar searches by the picture. These were on a not really known website. It's called Appreciate Apparel. I'll go ahead and link these. They don't have the plethora of colors like on the actual Bottega website, but I wanted to pop a pop of color because I'm afraid of it. I'm a neutral person, but green is my favorite color. So boom, we get in a pop of green. And this is a very trendy spring color from last year. Hopefully it's trendy this year. If it's not, I'm still gonna wear it because I do what I want to do. I do me. But anyway, let's get into it so I can tell y'all the pros and cons. Well, really, I'll just compare this item to the actual real item and I'll put a comparison on the screen. So the only difference I've seen in these is obviously there's no Bottega in the foot because they're not Bottega. But who's gonna be who's gonna be looking at hard? And why is your foot out the shoe anyway? So nobody's gonna know unless you lift your foot up as well, because there's no Bottega on the bottom. But they're pretty good quality. I'm not too sure if they are leather. I'd have to look for you guys. I do believe they are, but other than that, still square toe. It's the same shape. I'll go ahead and put a screenshot of them on my feet so you can see what they look like. And then I chose to get this bag from Zara because they match the shoes pretty well. Um, it's off by a hair. You can't really tell on camera. Um, they're pretty close and who cares because your feet are down there, your bag's up here. So, I was gonna get a Bottega dupe, but I don't really wear colors that much. Uh, this is a bag from Zara. I'll go ahead and link it down below. This one is $49.90. So, it's a very good size bag. You can put a lot in here. All your essentials and keep it moving. It does come with this chain for a strap. You can remove it and just hold it as a clutch like this. So, you know me, I like versatile bags, but let's get into how I would style these shoes. So whenever you do a pop of color, usually I suggest a neutral, so either white or black. So I did two looks. I have the bag on right here and the shoes. It basically is a romper. It's pretty simple. Um, I'm only showing y'all spring looks because I don't wear open toe sandals during the winter time or fall unless it's hot outside, but it's not like that out here in Texas. So, I'm doing spring looks. So this romper is one look. The second look is this white button down shirt dress. Be really cute for brunch. I paired it with the bag, of course. And that's a cute little look. White's always a good neutral to wear with a pop of color. You can do yellow, blue, red, really just about, you can get away with anything really. So those are my, two neutral looks. And then if you wanna get crazy with some patterns, I went ahead and paired it with my two piece that I bought from Zara, the top and bottom. Um, this was from last year, but it's still cute. I like the scarf print. I feel like it's a classic pattern to me. And then the colors went really well with these shoes in the bag. And then I did pair the second look with the pattern. There's these scarf print shorts from Sheen. And I went ahead and put the top, well, it's a bodysuit. My J Lux label Monroe bodysuit with it. Cute brunch look as well. And it'd be hot out here. So shorts is essential. And then the last look, I went ahead and paired it with my white button down shirt from Sheen and some denim shorts from Pretty Little Thing, cause it be hot. So again, another summer spring look you could put together and implement that pop of color. So that was my quick bougie on a budget. So your girl will have more of these. If I find a dupe, I will put you on. I'm gonna link everything down low for you. Um, there will be more reviews for luxury bags, 
more bougie on the budget, decor, and some more fashion hauls so I can show y'all how to throw some things together. But if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all my new subscribers. We are on the up and up. We're going to see a thousand really soon. But thank you so much for making it this far. I really think nobody does it better. I love the way that you put it together. Oh, are you fancy, huh?